it is true if there is an explosion in space, it tends to have a kind of spherical cloud left over as debris. So when a star explodes, we will see often nebula and they're, they, they're like sphere, often spherical-ish. Mm-hmm. Hey, beautiful um, too, beautiful nebula. Very, very beautiful. beautiful. And mm-hmm. you know, sometimes they plow into stuff and it changes the shape, but, but basically, yeah, then you can point inside this debris, you point to where the center of the explosion was. Okay. So that's not how it works for the Big Bang. So for the Big Bang, you cannot imagine that the space exists first and that you are exploding into the space. Right. It is actually a creation of the space itself. Self. Right. So everywhere right. in the universe mm-hmm. was once at the center of the explosion. Exactly. There is no plowing out. It's as though, and you can think of it any shape you want. Make some crazy, you know, people like the balloon analogy. So now make some crazy balloon, twist it up, crazy thing. And uh, a, a poodle. A poodle. Oh, nice. And a, a, balloon whole, poodle. a balloon poodle universe. <laughs> mm-hmm. And the whole thing stretches. Mm-hmm. And the whole thing was once a point. So every single point on that. Uh, it's still surface part, and right. people it's, get it's tripped part up. of that fabric if you want to call it. yeah so the center is everywhere the, the center, center is, is everywhere. everywhere we are at the we center are the of center. the big bang there is a center mm-hmm. the only way you can access it is to go back in time to the beginning of time Ooh, okay you oh man say, talk about dimensions so, yeah, so, 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 so yeah, you can wow. access the center of all of this only at one, one point, point in this coordinate system exactly. and it's at mm-hmm. t equals zero. Mm-hmm. Right. I would say- uh, And it's there, if, if timeline is just always yeah. there, there's the center. Yeah, if we're gonna be really, um, you know, split space up in very fine grained terms, this point was at the center back at t equals zero and this point was at the center back at t equals zero. They just were all closer all together, together. right. So the whole- So it's just the collapse of those points at t yeah. equals zero. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The space itself Mm-hmm. was created yes. right. at the second, not second, mm-hmm. the millisecond, microsecond, mm-hmm. whatever, mm-hmm. nanosecond. A bajillionth of a second. A bajillionth yeah, of a second. Yeah. <laughs> that space was created then along with everything else. A lot of people immediately want to point to the center of the balloon, right. the empty space inside, but you got to give up on that. All that exists is the skin of the balloon. Right, wait, that wait, is wait, all that exists. I'm okay with the center yeah. of the balloon because that's where the balloon was at T equals zero. Right, so you could think of it Good. I can only consider the center of the balloon as snapshots, like movie frames. Right. Imagine you painted dots all over the little infinitesimally small balloon. But they were glued to, you know, there's stains on the skin of the balloon. The dots themselves don't move. And then you push all that down, right. so all the dots are together, and then you pull them apart. In some sense, those are the galaxies that mm-hmm. came right. later. The galaxies aren't moving. Right. The stain on the balloon doesn't move. It's the, the skin, the stretching between wow. the spots. <sighs> so, in fact, nothing piles up the way it does when a supernova explodes, everything actually just gets more and more diffuse as the universe expands. Would the universe loop back on itself no matter its shape? We don't ultimately know the shape. We know that we can see the distance light has been able to travel since the Big Bang because we can't see anything faster than the limit of the speed of light travel time. And we know that the universe is expanding. So that's actually 92 billion light years across about that we can, that's what we call the observable universe. Mm -hmm. Now, it's possible that it's not 92 billion light years across that even within that uh, range that the universe has folded back onto itself in some way and we're actually seeing repeats of things. We're starting to see, it's kind of like a hall of mirrors thing. We're starting to see the light multiple times. How'd you know? Yeah, I was gonna say, how did you figure that out? It is very, very hard to figure out. There are patterns in the hot and cold spots left over from the Big Bang if it fits into a specific shape. So imagine something just totally platonically beautiful and crazy that the universe is like a dodecahedron, all of whose faces are glued together. So it's like crazy origami. That thing is, I mean, there has so many loops and- Dodecahedron, 20 sided. Yeah, it would actually start to imprint that the, the patterns of the dodecahedron in the light left over from the Big Bang. So if you imagine there's tiny little hot and cold spots that you would start to see in the distribution of the hot and cold spots. um, That shape. That shape would be reflected Mm -hmm. in, in a very subtle way. Really? Yeah. So wow. the reason the you don't mean reflected we, literally. You mean manifested. Manifested. Right? Yeah. So uh, so how the leopard got its spots is actually a very similar mathematical problem because you're asking about enzymes being high or low in the developing embryo, and it turns out that the shape and the size of the animal, and like whether it's tubular or when those spots are hitting it, that it will determine what kind of spots the animal gets. In so, an actual leopard. In, in an actual, actual leopard, zebra mm-hmm. stripes, like these things are things you can predict by solving for the mathematics of of things that are above a certain threshold or below a certain threshold that that pattern of stripes or spots 
will reflect the geometry and of the And the Black animal. Panther is a leopard. You knew that. Yes, I did know that. And the Black Panther has spots. Now that On I its didn't skin? Know. It has spots. On its skin. If you look very carefully, you can see the spots. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Amazing. Well, so yes. so how the universe got its spots is a similar mathematical problem. We're solving for hot and cold spots in a particular geometry when the universe was like a developing embryo, basically. We, we're in the Milky Way, so we're seeing the rest of the galaxy edge on. Right. We've never seen the Milky Way as from human beings from above. above, but we have these beautiful constructions because we just map things as accurately as we understand where they are also in space. Okay. So we just, we build an atlas on of it, basically. You build, a, you build a numerical model based on all of your observations of the Milky Way, the gas, the dust, the stars, everything, where the spirals are, where the gaps are, and then you just allow yourself to move in that digital world and look down from above. Once you have a map, you can go anywhere you want. Right. A three-dimensional map, you can go anywhere. Yeah, you and, can. And there are other galaxies out there that are flattened, and we can see them at all not one galaxy at different angles, but a million galaxies all scattered in random angles. And right. so it's pretty easy to figure out what we look like mm -hmm. by looking at by others. Looking at yeah. adding, and, and, adding, yeah. right. and, and that's what we look like until we collide with Andromeda. That's a happy future. Like imagine when Andromeda gets much closer, how cool the night sky is gonna be. Hey, like, actually, it's gonna be like right actually, there, you're gonna like see a whole No, no, actually galaxy. It, won't be, it won't be as cool as you think. But the whole solar system's supposed to stay together, right? And get knocked around. We should stay together. So we might end up in Andromeda. Uh, before we fully collide. Like they could pass each other, mm -hmm. they could collide, move through each other, and we yeah. could end up in Andromeda looking at the Milky Way. What will happen is there'll be a lot of sort of dissipated energy and the system, well, they'll first pass through each other and back and forth. We've done this on a computer mm -hmm. and it's it's like a rubber band kind mm -hmm. of thing and it kind of so, dies yeah. down and it settles into one double large massive system. Okay, so what's the bad news? If Andromeda were a hundred times closer, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be any brighter on the sky. Okay, I'm, I'm li I've, you've lost it. You, you <laughs> totally lost me. I'll there. tell you why. So Andromeda has a certain size on the sky. Correct. Right. Okay, it has a certain extent. Mm -hmm. And on a very dark night, mm -hmm. not in the city, but where the moon is not out, you can see this fuzzy thing in the sky. So that's in the Andromeda galaxy. It's two million light years away. Mm -hmm. All right. There's a certain amount of light coming from Andromeda in that patch on the sky. Right. So we... We reference it's uh, something called a surface brightness. It is how bright is Andromeda over that patch of sky, over that surface patch mm -hmm. on the sky, surface brightness. If we bring it half as far away, okay, make it only half as far, so the whole system is getting brighter, but right. the surface area is remaining the same. Right. So it is not gonna be more apparent to you in the night sky mm -hmm. than our own Milky Way is mm -hmm. on our own night sky. Mm -hmm. I'm very sad to report that. <laughs> I'm just sad. But it'll look cool. It'll look cool. No, <laughs> it'll just still be fuzzy. Can I see it? You gotta get out of the city, get rid of the full right. moon. Now I see the colliding galaxy. Right. No, sorry. I'm very sorry about this. <laughs> oh, okay. Jenna, I'm That's sorry right. to report this. That's right. Yeah. If the drama were right here next to yeah. us, it would right. just look like our Milky Way in yeah. the night sky, which yeah. you cannot see from New York Which City. you cannot no. see from New York City. Okay. It okay. is true.